Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today what we're gonna be taking a look at, it's going to be my top 10, well top 11 figures of the year, so of 2023. Um, this is gonna be based on McFarlane's uh, Marvel Legends, um, NECA Super 7, and we also have a, um, what is this company called? Um, Diamond Select Marvel Select Figure. So we're gonna be, I know I, I is this was a very hard thing to do. Honestly, to pick my top 11 figures was very hard. Um, but I'm going with the figures that I truly do in, enjoy and was truly happy to own. Now, in quality wise or articulation wise, I don't know if I probably do own better figures, but these are my top 11 figures that I will say that I was happy about getting, you know, this, these were the figures that made me the most, um, that I was most happy with buying, uh, this year. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do part two, which is going to be strictly based on Playmates figures only. So those figures are going to be like the reissue vintage line from the turtle figures and maybe some of the animated series playmates figures as well. Um, but I just felt it wouldn't be fair to include those figures in this top 11 list that I have here. Um, so this is part one of part two. So stay tuned for part two. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm going to try to keep it under uh under 10 minutes or under 12 minutes. Um, so let's get into it and I hope you guys enjoy it. All right guys, we're gonna be taking a look at number 11. And at number 11, we have Brittler here. Brittler is definitely one of my favorite characters. And this figure, I absolutely love the scope. I love the green on with the black um, question marks and the hint of purple. I love his um, question mark cane. I just love it, man. Really awesome figure. Really um, one of my top figures from McFarlane, from my McFarlane collection. If you guys want to see an in-depth look on how I feel about any of these figures, let me know. I mean, just check them out in the unboxing videos, but we're not going to go too much in-depth with each figure. So this is number 11, and I think he's awesome, guys. I really do um, think he deserves a spot on my top 11 list for this year. He's freaking awesome. Moving on to number... Um, well, that was 11. This is number 10. Moving on to number 10, I do feel that this guy deserves a top spot. Being how awesome this figure is from Diamond Select, Marvel Select. Not only that, but he did bring so many interchangeable parts. Like, he's got, I think, two to three different head sculpts, hands. Um, definitely a underrated figure of the year, I think. Not of the year, but an underrated figure that came out this year, and I don't think it got as much respect as it should have this guy is freaking awesome and he is coming on the top 10 he is number 10 so i really do like this figure guys i hope you guys um like this figure as much as i do i really think he deserves at least number 10 on this list and the price was great man not nothing too crazy moving on to number nine number nine is Mr. Bruce Wayne himself, Batman from the Trilogy Wave, from the Batman Begins Trilogy Wave. Um, this figure is freaking awesome. I I love this Batman figure. Possibly one of my favorite, if not my favorite, my father figure that I do own right now. Um, I just love the way the suit looks so real. Um, the head scope looks so good as well. The, the gold on the... Um, on the waist belt and on his accessories. Awesome, man. The cape looks great. And just like the head scope, just this figure really looks really good, guys. R really resembles like screen accurate, like a screen accurate figure. 
I absolutely love it, man. So that's going to be on place number nine, guys. Moving on to Wolverine here. Wolverine is freaking amazing. And I do love that he... You know, this is the animated series Wolverine. And I always wanted this figure for a very long time since I started collecting. But I didn't want to pay... Uh, you know scalper price so i had to wait it out this is the one from the 97 line the new 97 line so i'm glad we got a chance to get um an animated series wolverine once again released by hasbro and like i said i freaking love it this guy's taking place number eight and guys do not sleep on this figure if you haven't get them and you're collecting x-men figures this is the wolverine you definitely definitely need if you don't have them He's freaking awesome, guys. I love it. I love all these figures, by the way. Obviously, that's why they are on my top uh, 10 or 11. Moving on to the Blob. The Blob. The blob. <laughs> Try to say that. Um, the Blob figure is awesome. Really, really um, was not expecting this figure to be as good as he is. When I know it was a hefty price to pay 50 bucks, but um, for me, honestly, man, this figure really stands out on my shelf. It makes my collection looks really awesome, and I really do enjoy it. And he came with two different head scopes and not many accessories. The two different head scopes and I think two different set of hands, but man, it's just the scope of this figure. I have to appreciate it, and I do enjoy it, man. Again, when Hasbro, when Legends, they want to give us these deluxe figures, they absolutely deliver on these figures. And nothing bad to say about this guy. Coming up on number six, we got the Loyal Subjects Krang figure. What can I say about this figure that I have not said already? I love this guy. He is... Man, the size of this figure, the the animated feel, texture, color, just the accessories he brought, just everything about it. It's a really, really fun figure, and he really does put a smile on my face. Like every time I see this figure on my shelf, and just every time, you know, like I see it, definitely deserves a top spot. And it's one of my favorite figures, to be honest. Now I don't know if he's to me, he's, he's on number six because he is truly one of my favorite figures. I'm going to just leave it at that. We're going to move on to number five. And taking place number five is going to be Marvel Legends once again. Hasbro's new release Spider-Man figure. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. This is from the Leave the No Way Home line. And this figure is freaking beautiful man the the texture on the webbing the the head scope everything about this figure i absolutely love man this figure was i think he is my favorite spider-man that i currently do own for the moment um and really i was not expecting this figure to be as good as it is um i'm always iffy when buying these marvel legend figures but this this spider-man to me, it's definitely a must-have, and if I have to recommend a good Spider-Man to someone, this is definitely definitely a top competitor between all the um, Marvel Legends Spider-Man, on my personal opinion. And then we're gonna move on to number four. I have to say, my NECA Shredder um, from the first movie. This guy came in a two-pack with Splinter. This guy, man. The details, the texture, the way the shoot, the 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 suit, <laughs> the way his suit, his red gear kind of shines with like that glittery stuff that they put on it. Um, the cape, the cape does come off, guys. By the way, and it has a bendy wire. The shine, the just the silkiness. This figure, screen accurate, one hundred percent, and just phenomenal, phenomenal. It looks freaking amazing. I love it. And it's definitely one of my top figures. Definitely, hands down. So that's going to be in number four without any questions asked, man. This guy is a great figure. 
that's going to be on number four, guys. So number three is coming, and it is the recently picked up Marvel Legends again, hitting it on number three with Doc Ock. I love this figure. My favorite Marvel Legends figure for the moment. I will say that top one on Marvel Legends list. This guy, what can I, what can I not say about him? Like he is, I have already said everything in my unboxing. I love this figure. He is definitely worth the, the buy, guys. Do not sleep on him. Do not skip on him. Do not hesitate on, hesitate on buying this figure. He is a must have guys this guy 10 out of 10 no questions asked <laughs> no questions asked at all all right guys so we're gonna move on to number two and i have to give it to my super seven super seven samurai leo here a figure that i think i've reviewed once on my channel but man this figure to me everything about this figure is excellent and not to mention the amount of accessories he came and it came with two head scope super seven does a banged up job and i think i got him on sale for 34 bucks this is definitely one of my top figures in my entire collection and the only super seven figure i own and like i said guys i think i think this figure deserves number two um Really, really a great, great freaking figure. And coming up for number one in a second, as you guys um, can see, if you guys haven't noticed, it's gonna be the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures from the movie. I love these figures, and I right now yet to find a figure that tops these. Um, this figure, number one. All of these figures are just amazing, guys. But that's it, guys. I hope you enjoy it. I try to keep it, keep it nice and short for you guys. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoy this review. Well, not review. I'm so used to reviewing figures. I hope you enjoy this list of top 11 figures. Let me know what you guys think on the comments down below. And I hope you do did enjoy this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.